I think the key in the first half basically is Elizabeth Kentnick. And if Elizabeth Kentnick continues to score at will like she's been doing, Glenbar the West will be regional champions and advance to those sectionals. But if uh, Glenn Bard South can counteract that and maybe try to get in foul trouble like they did Mulcahy, then we will be in good shape. No, they they'll be in good shape. As South comes up with it. The, little, the guard, Nina Parados, gets it out now to McLaughlin. Nina Parados switches it over to the other side. And she gets it out to Jensen. Jensen, shot by, oh, shot by <laughs> number 30, McLaughlin, and she threw up an errant shot there. Rebound, Glenbar is now Trapp brings it across over to Bajadek. Bajadek gets it out to Denny Trapp. Down low to Kentnick, get back out to Bajadek. Back down to Kentnick, Kentnick just puts it up. Elizabeth Kentnick just Shot that one way over the outstretched arms of Glenbard South as now McLaughlin has an easy basket. And that's the first basket for South in quite a long time. 26 to 13, so still a 13 point lead now for the Hilltoppers. Bajadek, oh, South almost had a steal. Jake and Eddie out and out to drop end of Kentnick. Kentnick, Kentnick misses it. This is it, we get a rebound. And we got a foul on Kentnick. And that's what Glenbard West would look, or Glenbard oh, South would like to do. And she picks up her first foul, but that's not gonna really help them a whole lot. For Glenbard South, the key to them is to either st stop Elizabeth Kentnick or, or whatever. Because she is the key right now. As now Glenbard South didn't know who to get who the pass was for. And now Glenbard West brings it across fast. Trap down low to Kentnick inside. But she double dribbled with the ball. So Glenbard West now playing a little erratically. They get it over now to Neferados. She gets it over now to McLaughlin. McLaughlin brings it across now on the right side. Trap got a hand on it. They're denying them inside. They're going to have to work that perimeter shooting. And Hoyland get hot because they're not getting anything inside. Well, Hanley shoots it and it was fouled. I believe it could be on Mulcahy. No, it's on Elizabeth Kentnick. That's her second foul. So, as I said before, that's going to be the key. If they can get her and Sharon in foul trouble, it could be a different ball game. So she. Hanley now has two shots, and her first one does not fall for her. So they're gonna have to hit their shots and make the most of the time they've got, because they definitely are still in this game. This big cross star rivalry, and she hits the second one. When Glenbard South and Glenbard West get together, it's always a dogfight. Badger that gets it across now to Trop. Trop, and she dribbles it off her knee. So Glenbard West, I said before, playing Rackley and Coach Karen Judge cannot take it anymore. And Lori Bat will check back in. Lori Bat played a very exceptionally error-free first half. Oh my goodness. As Cyberlick. Cyberlick traveled with the basketball. So Glenbard West now takes over. Jake and Eddie. Over now to Bajdak inside to Mulcahy, and she gets hammered as she went inside for the basket. Did not come up with it though, but she'll have some foul shots. So Julie Jensen picks up her second personal foul, and Sharon Mulcahy will have her foul shots. Chance to put uh, the Lady Toppers up by maybe By 14 points, it's now, she's there by 13, 27 to 14, 5.45, left to go in the third period. As their second shot does not fall for, Hanley gets the rebound. Gets it out to the guard, Neferatos. Driving in the lane, and nice move there. Nina Ferratos comes up with it. 
And it's 27-16. I don't know how she got into the lane. Mulcahy over now to Bajadak, but she's fouled, I think, by Jensen. And Jensen picks up her third foul. So non-shooting foul, so they're going to take it out of bounds. Foul on Julie Jensen, her third team second. That's bad. Looking to get some into Jake and Eddie. Jake and Eddie over to Bajadak. Bajadak way up on top. They're looking for Elizabeth. They want to get it down to Elizabeth. No, bad. Not a good shot at all. Not a good shot selection there by Lori Bat. So Lenbard West is kind of losing it a little bit here. They're losing their mental toughness, making a lot of bad plays here. Let's hope they can get that squared away. And now McLaughlin gets it across. Nina Ferrados gets it over to Hanley. Hanley traveled with the basketball. Glenbard South fans really on the edge of their seats every time they get to, their teammates get their or their players get the basketball. Because definitely Glenbard West, the better of the two, is a bad pass by Bajadek. So that's five straight times now. Glenbard West has gone down to try to score points and they haven't scored. And that keeps this, the Raiders in this game. Oh my goodness, Hanley. All by herself, gets it inside to Jensen. Jensen puts it up. So now 27-18, nine points. What, what was once a 13-point lead. Badgett gets it over to Kentnick, and Kentnick, pump fake, three-footer misses it. Nina Ferratos now gets it over to Hanley, but a bad pass. And uh, bad pass as they had a chance to Cut that lead to seven, and they didn't. Audra, Jake, and Eddie over to Lori Bat. Lori Bat, we got another foul on, I think, Cyberlick. As the South fans are voicing their opinions thus far here in the game, a little frustrated. <laughs> Definitely want to win this basketball game. Lori Bat will check out. Lori Bat played very well. Jenny Trapp will check back in. She inbounds the ball to Bajadek. Bajadek looking, gets it over to Trapp. Trapp over to Mulcahy. Mulcahy with the pump shot, no good. Jake and Eddie, and we got no shot. And we got a foul on Glenbard South, Hanley, so. As Glenbard South picks up the fourth team foul. Oh, they got the pass inside of Mulcahy, but she couldn't hit it too hard. And it's going to go to Glenbard South. Uh, Nina Ferrados over to McLaughlin. McLaughlin, McLaughlin driving. McLaughlin holds up, gets it out to Nina Ferrados. Nina Ferrados. Oh, Jensen had a wide open shot and goes. She was called for that ball. She was wide open. She wanted it, and she put it up, and she got it. 27 to 20, and now that lead is cut to seven. Jake and Eddie driving. Jake and Eddie loses the basketball. And that, that's, I, I can think it's about eight times that Glenbard West has failed to get a point, to get at least a basket. And each time, Glenbard South capitalizes on it, and we could be in for a basketball game. The South fans, Nita Ferratos. Ferratos puts it up. We got a whistle. I think it's going to be on Bajadek. So, Bajadek picks up her third personal, I believe, as they said on the PA. As now, Nina Ferratos puts up a foul shot and missed everything there. A little hard off the basket. That's an interesting. Uh, as you notice here on your television screen, an interesting way to shoot. She's way off on the left side. Shooting it at an angle, I believe. Yeah, very interesting. Trap. As McLaughlin got a hand on it. Badgenek driving. Oh, McKay, he was wide open on the baseline. Jake and Eddie over to Trap. Trap does not hit a thing. And now they're going for the basketball. She kicks it in. 
Jake, and then he picks up with his end a mad scramble for the ball. And Badger that holds things up with 2.50 and counting till uh, the end of the third period. Trap over to Mulcahy. Mulcahy playing with three personal fouls. She picked up early in the first half, so she missed a lot of it. And as now, Mulcahy, Mulcahy forced that one. South gets it. Oh my goodness, McLaughlin wide open. McLaughlin puts it up, does not make it as she just had an easy basket there and just got a little bit overzealous with it. Could have cut the lead to five. No. Badzadek over the trap. Trap puts up a shot and does not fall for. So Glenn Bard West has failed to score at least a basket here in this third period, and it's almost over with. But Glenn Bard South is just inching their way back into this basketball game as they were down by 13 points going into the halftime period. Nina Ferrados now. She's setting the show. Gets it down low to Hanley. Hanley puts it up no good. Rebound, Jake and Eddie. Jake and Eddie brings it across. Jake and Eddie over the trap. Let's see if they can get a basket. Kentnick, Kentnick finally gets him a basket. Makes it 29-20, makes the lead now. Hanley puts it up over to Jensen. Jensen no good. Rebound, Jake and Eddie. So now Glenbard South losing it. Getting worn out a little bit here. And that firing, going down there hard and set up their defense. Jake and Eddie over to Badgerick. Back over to Jake and Eddie. Down into Drop over to Kentnick, Kentnick. So now, Glenbard West finally getting things back in order. 31-20, looking much better. McLaughlin, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Kentnick. Glenbard South just is not getting hitting their shots. They're getting all, excellent shots, but they're just not falling for them. Drop over to Bajadek. Back over to Jake and Eddie. 43 seconds left. As Glenbard South still in that zone. Can't come up to a man to man because they just they just don't have anyone really to match up with uh, Elizabeth Ketnick and Sharon Mulcahy. And there's now 23 seconds. They're just playing catch now. Putting on the old North Carolina stall. Over to Jake and Eddie. Back over to Bedzik. Alley oop type pass to Trap. Trap can't hit the shot. And we got a walk. We got a walk by Glenbard South. As Jamie Trap will check back in and she will check in for her sister. Uh, this is a, it's been a long time since we've seen Jamie Trap in this ball game. And she loses the ball, as now Glenbard South on the run. Cyberlick loses it. And now with three seconds left, three seconds left, Wes has a chance to go up by maybe 13, as it's 31 to 20. Okay, Aaron shot, it would go out if it goes in, but it didn't. So finally, Wes, uh, Going down 10 straight times without even scoring a point. And and uh, finally got things on track here. And brought that lead up now to 11 points, 31 to 20. Lombard South is hitting their, sh not hitting their shots. They're getting excellent shots and just aren't hitting them out there. And if they, if they want to get back into this ball game and hopefully make a game out of it, they're gonna have to start hitting those shots. Or uh, it could be all she wrote for them and they will have their season ended as of right now. As I said, this is for the regional championship. The winner will go on to the sectionals next week. And the loser will have to turn in their uniforms and call the season. Both teams have had good, relatively good success. Gomard West, as I can vouch for, has really played very well within their conference. 
had a little problem in the early going and finally got things working for them, and they are really gelling here in the second half of the season and uh, really playing very well. As right now, the winter season is dwindling here in March. As you can tell by the weather, we got a bad rainy night outside. And as now these spring sports are getting on the on way, track, gymnastics, and baseball, and softball getting set now. So right now, this is it for our winter sports. As they we have a very good crowd here for Glenbard West as well as for Glenbard South as we're set up now for the tip. Ketnick over to Trapp and now Glenbard West now in the driver's seat right now. Relatively fast basketball game. Almost, it's, it's five minutes after eight. And this game started at seven. So it shows you how fast this game has gone. And it's trapped now over to Jake and Eddie. Kentnick up top, down low to Mulcahy. Mulcahy puts it up hard off the backboard. And oh my goodness, Eddie, what that shot. That just hit the front rim and went in. Nina Ferrado's having a little problem. Jensen gets it out to Cyberlick. Down low to Hanley. Hanley shoots it too hard. Trapp gets the rebound. Jake and Eddie gets it. As Glenbard South is just frustrated out here. They can't seem to hit anything right now. Bajadek gets it over the trap. She's settling things right now, getting things working. Bajadek. And now the Mulcahy, nice shot. Sharon Mulcahy is just taking things in her own hands right now. 35-20, we're just moving that lead up. Lombard South, oh, Kentnick had a hand on it. Nice defensive play, Hanley into Jensen. Jensen traveled with the ball. We knew it, we knew it up here. Well, Lombard South now is just, I don't know. Let's hope they can maybe get things on track and make a game out of it. Or it could be all she wrote for them. You hate to see a team lose. Someone they have to lose in these tournaments because you're seeing such good basketball. Nice play there by McLaughlin, McLaughlin scoops it up. The basket should count as it was in continuation. Yeah, the basket counts. Fans don't like that, but she was in, in continuation of the shot. So, we just saw professional rules in a high school basketball game, but she did look from up here like she did, was, was in the continuation. So she'll have a chance to make a three-point play here. 35-22, make that 35-23. It's not been registered on the scoreboard yet. Here it is. 6-16 left to go in the ball game. Jake and Eddie in trouble, and we got a foul on Cyberlick. And as you just heard on the PA. Jake Nutty now has a one and one. Man. She puts that first one in, 36-23. And now, Audra's second shot. It does not fall for, but Sharon comes up with it. Going after the basketball, but it's gonna go the other way. Now, Glenbart South inbounds the ball. The Raiders bring it across. Nina Ferrados over to McLaughlin. Nina Ferrados in trouble. Over to Cyberlick. Cross court pass to McLaughlin. McLaughlin inside to Jensen. Jensen shot does not fall for. Rebound. Mad scramble for the basketball. What do we got? I think we have either a whistle or a foul, something. I don't know. Uh, Hanley get with, picks up with the picks up the foul as Winder comes into the game now. So Jack and Eddie has a chance now for one in the bonus. 36-23, 13 point deficit now. The difference of seven baskets. 
keep, oh, but Mulcahy, he gets the rebound, does not hit it, Hanley gets the rebound. Nina Ferrados, Nina Ferrados, and we got a, not a good play there by Jamie, or Jenny Trapp. Not a smart play there, she did not really have to foul there. You wanna keep the clock running if you're going bar to west, because that means that South will have to score with the clock running, but now with the clock stopped and she's on the line, that means Glenbard South has a chance to score without the clock moving at all. And you don't want that to happen. As her first shot misses. Have to hit those foul shots. Here and now or never time here. Jenny Trapp, not a, not a good pass. Mad scramble for the ball. South comes up with it. Nina Ferrados will bring it across. Gets it out now to Winder. Back out to Nina Ferrados. Back over to Winder. Winder, airborne shot goes in for 36-25. As I like what these South fans, they're not giving up one inch. And this game is not over by any means. You're seeing very good caliber basketball. Badgenek sets things up. Over the trap. And now to Mulcahy. Nice move there on the baseline. You're not going to stop her down there. And she drove on that baseline using that muscle of hers. 451, 38, 25. Man, Mulcahy coming up with a nice deep at the plates. As Trapp was going to hold it up now. She's going to hold it up, get it out now to Bajadek. Bajadek over to Jenny Trapp. She gets it out now to Mulcahy over to Bajadek. Back over to Trapp over to Mulcahy. Mulcahy's going to drive the baseline again. Mulcahy with a shot. Does not go for. Rebound McLaughlin for South. Gets it out to Nina Ferrados. And they don't have a whole lot of time. They're going to have to start bringing it up quick and start hitting some shots because they don't have a lot of time as a clock, bad pass. Clock is not in favor of them right now. 408 left to go, 38-25. Still a 13 point deficit. It's a little over six baskets are right, between them and tying this game up, but we got a foul. Foul on Torian Ferrada for a second. Jenny Fox, shooting one and one. Uh, and the Ferrada's picks up poor. her. Personal foul as we got another timeout on the floor. As you're seeing Glenbard West having this game well in the hand, and I think the difference right now is Glenbard South is, I think, just outmatched as you can. I can say right now, with four minutes left to go here. It looks as though Glenbard West is just out, outmanning them, outgunning them here, and as they've done most of the game with a brief little uh, drought there in the third period. And Glenbard South showed their character by inch trying to inch their way back into the game. It's kind of off or not right now, but we got four minutes left, so anything can happen in four minutes. So it's not, not gonna write them off right as of yet. But it's, looks as though Glenbard West is, could be well in hand and go on to advance to those sectionals at Addison Trail. And it's gonna be a tough one. You're gonna, you're gonna find teams such as York, Oak Park, two of the top teams in the state. But I think they can play with them. They showed that in the last regular season game against York and almost won it. So they proved they can play with the best. They've had their problems with Oak Park, but, uh, <coughs> excuse me. But um, nevertheless, this is this is the, turn the IHSA tournament, and anything can happen. Drop shot does not go for, and South comes up with a rebound. Nifferatos brings it across the timeline. Nifferatos gets it out. Now the Jensen. Jensen puts up a shot. Jensen really showing her wares out here. 38-27. Trap over now. She's got a three on two. Gets it over to Kentnick. Kentnick, but Kentnick walked with the basketball. They've got 3.38 left until we can call the night here. Let's see what uh, 
South Canoe now. Neferatus. She's going to have to get it across the timeline. It, she does. Jensen now. Over to Neferatus. Neferatus driving, trying to get in that lane. Gets it out now to McLaughlin. Back over to Neferatus. They're going to have to put up some shots here because they do not have a whole lot of time. They can't be working for the shot, and that's what happens. You have to set yourself up, put up the shot. You don't have a whole lot of time to work with when you're behind. And uh, too much passing can get you in trouble now as we're at live action. Trap over to Bajadek. Oh, McLaughlin almost had a shot at a steal. Jack Kennedy. Lose it, rejected. Hanley gets it out to McLaughlin. McLaughlin now has got two people and a nice defensive play by Trapp, but she traveled with the basketball. Wait a minute, we don't, what's going on here? Yeah, South basketball, I think. That's what I figured. 2.33 left to go here. South. Gets it into Jensen. Jensen puts it up. Jensen. I'm surprised they haven't gotten the ball into her. She's been putting it up because I, he, she is really hot. Jack Kennedy over to Trap. Trap gets it out now to Bajadek. Over to Trap again. And now they're going to play a little bit in here. Play around with it. And not a good pass. McLaughlin now driving. She is going to have to go for it. Oh, nice pass by Hanley, but Trapp comes up with a nice defensive play. Just strip the ball from Hanley, and I think that's just gonna about do it for him. As Glenbard and West can, I think, safely say they're gonna go to the regional, or they're regional champions. And as they're just playing catch pads that can trap where they are. So now they finally foul, but I think that's about it with 142 left to go. But I like Lombard South, they're not quitting. And they're gonna keep playing and they're gonna wait till that final whistle blows. Good caliber basketball, as you're saying right here, between two crosstown rivals, and I mean crosstown rivals. And I can safely say whatever sport it is, Glenbard West and Glenbard South, when they play, as Kentnick Kent picks up the rebound and scores, there's always a dogfight. Good crowd on hand here tonight, watching some good caliber basketball play right here. Hanley gets it out to Winder, when she does not hit four. Okay, with the rebound. Jack Kennedy bringing it across. Jack Kennedy was fouled. And if I was south, that's not the person I would foul. I would probably foul possibly, you know, the center, you know, Elizabeth Kentnick or and that's probably about it, because Bajadak is a good foul shooter. You've got four good foul shooters on the floor. Michelle Mulcahy for forward is very good with their foul shots. It's been consistent all year. But Jay Canetti is deft on that foul line. And that's just proved it right there. Audra Jay Canetti, she's only a sophomore, and she is going to be, you're going to be hearing a lot of good things from Audra as she plays for Glenbard West in two years. She has really played very well this whole year. As her second shot does not go for, but Mulcahy with a rebound. Mulcahy high off the backboard, doesn't go fall for her, and Kentnick just put it up with ease. Elizabeth Kentnick, 43-29 minute, eight left to go here. Nif Niferados gets it out to McLaughlin. McLaughlin driving behind the pass. Nice move there, but we got a foul with a minute left. So she's gonna get to go to the foul line and shoot some. Sharon Mulcahy picks up her fourth personal after, after she had three personal fouls in the beginning. Set out most of the first first half, but she's really played very well here in the second half. Lombard West takes a timeout. I think they're gonna try to, Coach Karen Judge is telling her team just to not foul, just keep it Keep that mental toughness. The game isn't over yet, no time to celebrate. Let's not foul them so that they can, uh, you know, score some points with the, with the clock not running. And 
basically just keep uh, playing that defense that they've been playing. They are really been, they're playing a tough defense. And not to let up, keep pressing. And let Glenbard South work for that basket, but don't fall. That's the key right here, right now, don't fall. Glenbard South coach, I believe, is telling his players it's been a good season for them. They've advanced to the regional finals. And it's, uh, for some of these seniors out here that are playing, it's gonna be their last game in a Glenbard South basketball uniform. And uh, he's telling them just to keep playing hard, go out with class and style keep hustling they've been hustling I like this Glenbard South team they have really they came to play but just were outmatched the height advantage has been the key in a lot of the games here for Glenbard West they just Elizabeth Ketnick at center 6-4 and Sharon Mulcahy it's just those are the those are the money people for Glenbard West and that's gonna be they're gonna be the key as we get down into the stretch of this tournament as Lombard South, McLaughlin misses her foul shots. We've got less than a minute left as she's fouling. Vajdak gets fouled. And uh, Amy Vajdak now gets to shoot a one in the bonus. And Lombard South fans calling for some of the seniors here that have not played yet. Hoping that they may see some action here in this game. First shot by Badgerback, like I told you. And she gets a nice hand. And that's just about all she wrote, as I said. 44-29, we got less than a minute left. I'm Barry Holmes, and it's been a pleasure to be with you here on a bad, rainy night here in March. Second shot goes in. Always a pleasure to be doing these basketball games for you. Nice play there by Sherman Okay, but McLaughlin comes up with it, gets it out to Jensen. Jensen, Jensen puts it up. J Jensen is hitting everything. I don't think she's missed yet. And we got another foul. Down by 14 points. Jenny Trapp on the line. Is her, it's her chance to get some more points. And now we're gonna see Scourin coming back into the game. And Nif Niferatus who played very well here. Badgett, the trap now will shoot a one in the bonus. First shot is up, and it's good. Second shot now. Goes up, no good. Rebound, Jensen out now to Winder. Winder now over to McLaughlin, McLaughlin now. Oh, we got a foul. Not a good play. And as Coach Judge gets up now. Trap now over to Jake and Eddie. Jake and Eddie, and we got another whistle. As we've got 32 seconds left, and don't go away, ladies and gentlemen, as we're gonna stay right here for the presentation of the trophy before we sign off. As two teams from Glen Ellen have squared off, and the better team was Glenbard West. Jake and Eddie now. Oh, odds of Jack and Eddie just put up that first shot. Very cool. Free throw shooting is going to be a very big key as they get down into the stretch run of the playoffs. Second shot is good. Now Scowen brings it across fast for the Raiders. Down over the, oh, nice play there by Ketnick as she got a hand on it, but we got another whistle. And Jack and Eddie got nailed in the face. Roger Jack and Eddie, the sophomore. Is, uh, she goes back on the line again. Glenbard West only playing with two seniors right on the floor right now. Sharon Mulcahy and Amy Bajadek. 
And with the talent they've got on the bench, Glenbard West is going to have a good team next year. But that's next year. And right now we're looking at this year, and this year they are going to be regional champions. And for the second straight year in a row, they won it last year before bowing out to York in the first round of the sectionals. And they're going to have a tough road ahead of them. Addison Trails, one of the toughest sectionals. As an errant pass by South. Mulcahy's going to play a little guard now, but she gets it out to Badgevac. Badgevac over to Jack Anetti, and Jack Anetti, I guess, will go to the line once again. They are not following the right person. Winder picks up her first personal foul, and Badgevac now will go to the line. We got 10 seconds left. We're going to have a substitution. As Sue Burns will check in now for Elizabeth Ketnick and she gets a round of applause. And Trice comes in now for Sharon Mulcahy. And she's just clearing the bench right now. As all the subs are coming in. So let's run down that lineup for you. Sue Burns is at center. We've got Ann Trice now at forward. Badgedak at guard. Sandy Hoffman at guard, and Lori Bat at a forward. Or at a guard, I believe. <laughs> Kathy Brown will check in, and Badgedek will go out. So now we've got the substitutions in for the final 10 seconds. 41, 49, 31, the clock is not running. It runs now. As it goes now to Glen Bard South. So uh, Glenn Bard South got an extra few seconds. There are eight seconds now till this game is over. And we got a foul. There's a foul on the play. Sue Burns picks up a foul. I guess they want to. She gets her first foul. So now Hanley is at the lines to shoot one in the bonus. First shot is good. 49-32. She gets a chance now for her second shot. And it's good. 49-33, seven seconds here to go. So the game's over, Kathy Brown brings the ball across. Over to Burns, gets it out to Hoffman. Hoffman has a chance to put it to points and it goes in for. So Sandy Hoffman ends the game. And that makes the score a final, 51-33. And that's it. Glenbard West clearly the victor. They showed it right here. They just outplayed Glenbard South the whole game. As right now we're going to have a presentation of the trophy. We'll stay right here. As they, as they're going to get set now to cut the nets down. But they're going to wait. Well, as they get set now, they're going to cut the nets. And Miss Judge. This judge will get the first chance to. We'll get the first crack at uh, cutting it now. So as you see right on your television screen, Glenbard West clearly the victor, regional champions. And they go on now to the sectionals as they're going to have the presentation of the regional championship trophy. Kathy tries, Kathy Brown tries to get, <laughs> and they're just jumping up on those nets. She couldn't reach it. As we're gonna take it back down to the PA announcer as she, Coach Karen Judge and Amy Badgerdeck accept the trophy for winning the regional. Amy Badgerdeck, the captain of the team. And uh, they want to cut the nets down as I partake. They don't want to wait till uh, they get the trophy. They want those nets. As a, you heard it, regional champions. 
And we advance now to the sectionals. To be played at Addison Trail, and it's gonna be a tough one, let me tell you. Clifford South, I wanna say they really played their hearts out tonight. They were just outmatched. But let me tell you, I see some good things for them in the, in the future. They played hard and tough, and they never let up and never quit. As you see right now, this has been a very good game. I'm Barry Holmes. It's been a pleasure joining you as Glenbard West, regional champions. That's it for now. So long. <laughs>